E-signature is becoming a vital tool in HR departments. Human resources play a key role in implementing digital transformations. Strategies to improve productivity, culture, and work-life balance of employees using tools like electronic signatures can help make signing NDAs, insurance forms, tax papers, and other documents paperless, thus making the process of signing documents easier. Good thing Job Form Sign has got you covered with eSign and UETA compliant digital signatures. Let me show you how easy it is for HRs to start. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is for HRs to get started with implementing digital signatures. So, this is the Job Form dashboard once you log in. To head on over to the Job Form Sign section, let's head on over to the top menu on the left. We're going to go to Sign Documents, and this is going to take us to the panel where we have our documents for signatures. Now, for previous documents, you're going to see them listed here, and we have several options available, which I'll show you in a bit. Now, to get started, we're going to go to the green button here, which is, says Create Signed Document. So let's click on this one, and we can upload our own documents to start signing. So if we already have tax forms or other type of forms, we can use these, this here, and I'll show you in a bit. Now, if you're looking for a template, we'll go into Use Template, and there's several categories on the left, and we can also use a search bar on the top. Now, if you find a document that you need, you can use it from here and just modify some fields that you might need to customize it. Now, let's go back and we're going to upload our own document. So it's going to upload a document and I'm going to select one from my desktop. So in this case, I'm going to use this one, which is a human resources consultant agreement. So I'm going to open this one. I'm going to create signable document. So like I said, if you have documents that you already use, well, we can bring them in here and drop form sign and start using them. Now, one of the coolest features of job form sign is detecting fields automatically. This saves you a ton of time. Now we can drag each one of these fields inside of the PDF, or we can use this to get started. So I'm going to select detect the fields and it's going to do it automatically. Now this option is going to detect most of the fields. If there's some missing, we can go ahead and modify them. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, it added these fields automatically in the sections. Plus, it also named it for us, so that saves us a lot of time. So, for example, effectiveness of, and we have this option here. Now, it added all these fields. Now, if there's missing some of the fields, we can go ahead and add them. So, for example, other, we have a missing field right here. So, we're going to add it right now. We're going to go into long text. Let's drag it inside of here. Well, actually, it's short text. Let's drag it inside of here. Let's go ahead and stretch it. Okay, and let's make it a little bit narrower. There we go. And again, we can do so with the fields that are missing. Okay. We can go ahead and check it. See if everything's fine. We even have the check boxes added. There we go. Client's address, consultant's address, etc. Let's go down here. We also have the fields. There we go. And we're missing the signature. So let's go ahead and add these right now. So let's add the signature for this one and this one. So basically, that's how easy it is to implement the fields inside of this form. It saves us a ton of time. Now, we're going to assign these fields to the respective person who's going to fill it out. So for example, in this case, we have two people who are going to fill this out. Let's go down here. For example, we have the client address and the consultant's address. So there's two signatures. For the consultant, we're going to change it to another signature. So this one needs to fill out a different section. So I'm going to click on this and we're going to be able to edit this section. For each one of these fields, we're going to have the edit options on the right. Now we can go ahead and select the second signer. In this case, I'm the consultant, you could say, and I'm going to select it, okay? So now it changed a different color. If I need to add a new role because there's a third, fourth, or fifth signer, we can add them all right here and assign the fields to them, okay? So now that I've added this, again, we have the options on the right. We can go ahead and select different signers here. We can make it field label change it. We can make it required. We have options available here for required specific format, character limit. So in case it doesn't need to be longer than, I don't know if it's postal code, it shouldn't be longer than six digits, for example, or five, depending on the country, input mask and advanced options for default value and read only so that they're not able to sign it. So this one, we assigned it to the second signer, which in this case, it's me. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to change the signature also, which is the consultant. Again, I'm going to sign all these fields to me. There we go. And there's other fields that in this case, I would need to sign, but we're going to keep it just like it is. Okay. Now, one of the things I would recommend after adding all the fields in your PDF document, I recommend preview document. So once you preview the document, you're going to be able to see 
all the fields available here. We can go ahead and test them. If I click on it, I can go to go ahead and fill it out, making sure that everything works correctly. And another key feature is this one, preview as, for example, signer one, it's going to show me the fields for signer one. So now that I'm sure that it's only available for me. So you can see the consultant address has no field. And on the bottom signature, you can see that none of these fields are assigned, so you can't see them here. But if I change to signer me in this case, I'll see the fields that are available to me. So here's one of them, and in the bottom are the next ones. So this is really useful to make sure that we implemented the fields and assign them to the correct person once we view it here. So it's pretty easy to view it in this section. Plus we're able to view phone mode. There we go. Tablet mode. And if you like how it looks, we're good to go. Let's get out of preview mode. And next thing we're gonna check out is the settings. So let's go into the settings. Now in this case, we can change the document title if we like. In this case, we're going to keep it. Keep it. The document title is grabbed from the file name that we uploaded, but if it's different, we can go ahead and change it here. The email settings. We can change the email subject and the email message. So if you wanna personalize this, that is possible. And there's also integrations here. So for example, sign PDF to your favorite third-party services of custom apps. So we can send them directly here. If we wanna store them in Google Drive, on Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box, we can do so, or use Zapier to send it somewhere else that Zapier connects to. And we can also request an integration if we need something that needs to be directly integrated, okay? And next we have our the send settings. Now this is a really important feature. So here we have the sign name. So in this case, signer two will be um, Thomas, Thomas Brown, and his email is gonna be this one, which is my test email, and me, which is George Aguilar, and here's my email. Now, a key feature is one of this, these, signing order. If I enable this, I can change the signing order. If I drag this up, it changed it. If I drag it down, it's different. Now, this is pretty useful because first, it's going to send it to signer one. Now, once the signer one signs it and fills out the document, it's gonna send it to the next person, which in this case, it's me. Now, this is really useful because you don't want to receive a document that's not filled out, or you don't want to waste time filling out, filling out a document that hasn't been filled out by the first person. So this is really useful. If you have three, four, five signers, it'll go in order that you set it here. We can also set a password to this. So for example, set a password code. I can set it like this, for example, and I can keep it, I can remove it. There's also a message that we can add. So for example, your password is going to be your postal code, or your password is your um, employee ID, etc. So we have that option to add it there. And again, for us, we can also do so. Um, it could be an extra security measure if you want to add that there. There's also an invitation link. And once we send it out, we'll see the do send documents here. Now let's go ahead and check out the options before we send it out. We can set an expiration date for this. Now this is really useful also in case you don't want to leave open this document. For example, if they have a time limit of a week, two weeks to sign it, well, we can set it here. If we wanna leave it open, we can just turn it off. Automate reminder emails, so if we want to remind the user like every two days, every three days, four, et cetera, until they sign it, you can enable this. Sign delegation and CC recipients. We can also have the option to embed this. So let's go into sign, I'm gonna send it over. Remember, it's gonna be sent over to the first person, which is Thomas Brown, okay? And we're gonna go check it out on our email. So let me go ahead and open that. Here we go, we just received the first document and we're gonna review and sign document. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we have all the fields that we have to fill out. So for example, I can add anything that I want right here. So for example, I can just say test, I'll go next, it'll send me to the next one. And I can go ahead and fill out all this information. Now, like I said, these fields are for the client. So this is not the consultant. In this case, how we just set it up for the demo. All right, remember client's address. So I'll just say, street and i'll go next and next and fill it out now over here on the client signature the date is added added automatically and then we have the signature if i click on the signature it's going to open up the signature setting now for example there's a type signature which is grabbed from the variable when i sent it out remember i added the name so that's why it knows it's thomas brown it could be typed i can change the color and i can change the style to this so for example if i want something more cursive i can do so and there's also the draw option. So in this draw option, we can go ahead and draw the signature here. We can go ahead and say next, and it go ahead and adds it there. So it's super easy to implement signatures. So once you've set up your PDF document, send it over, it's super easy to just fill out the fields and add the signature. Now there's another option. We can go ahead and sign and complete. 
and we can go ahead and decline it if we like. So for example, if we wish to decline this because we don't like the contract, something is wrong with it, the date is wrong or something, the message, um, point B is, isn't what we agreed, etc. We can go ahead and type it in and we'll receive that notification that it, it has been declined. Now, this is one of the reasons why the signature assignment of who signs it first and then send it to the next one is really useful because you don't want to fill out the document for signer two, three, four if signer one has declined it. So it saves you time. In this case, I'm going to cancel it. I'm not going to decline it and I'm going to sign it and complete. So let's go ahead and accept and send. There we go. It's been signed successfully. So in this case, the first signer has filled out the document. That means that the second signer should be receiving the email. Now, before I open the second email, I want to show you how this is uh, advancing in job form sign. So let's go into job form sign and we're going to go to this section, which is track. Okay. So in the track option, we're going to view the overview of this. So for example, you can see that some of these fields have been signed. Uh, filled out sorry so you can see the test 2022 and i filled out the signature in the bottom you can see that's already there so we could we're able to view all of this like i said if this was declined we can also view it here in this case it hasn't been declined we're also waiting for signatures so we're waiting for the next signature again if there were three four five signatures we would view them right here who needs to fill this out waiting for others completed it hasn't been completed and it hasn't been canceled so again before we continue, we are going to go into the next email. Okay, we're going to fill it out. Okay, here's our next email. Let's go ahead and review and sign document. Remember, in this case, it would be the consultant. That's how I set it up. So you can see none of the fields are available for the first signer, but for the second signer, we're going to be able to view it here. In this case, again, I'll say street just for testing purposes. I'll go next. I'll keep it as the signature as typed. Let's go next and the print name. There we go sign and complete and here we go it's been signed so now both of the people have signed it that means the document is complete so let's go into our job form sign inbox let's go ahead and refresh it and now we don't have waiting for signatures and now we have an audit trail so let's scroll down here we'll see all the fields filled out you can see it's been signed by both parties we'll go down here and there's an audit trail so in this audit trail, we're going to be able to view the title, the document ID, which is unique, document pages, the status complete, the time zone, the document history, when an invitation was sent, when it was viewed, when it was signed, etc. We're able to view all that information and the process is complete. So we have the document and we have the audit trail for this. And on the right, we have our sign signers right here. Details, if you'd like to view it. Next, we have the options which you saw already now it's missing because obviously both signers have, have already signed it so there's no waiting for signature waiting for others no it's been completed yes so now we're able to view it in the completed section it hasn't been canceled and it hasn't been declined so that's how easy it is for all this to tie in together and view it professionally now i showed you how to get here by clicking on the track option but if you need to head on over there from the main section let's go back into our Shop form sign section for my documents. Here we go. This is the section here. We can invite to sign. We can edit. The sign inbox is where it is going to take us to the sign inbox. But there's also other options like preview, edit, rename, clone, or move to trash. Let's go into the sign inbox. And it's going to take us to this panel. So that's how easy it is for HRs to start bringing in their documents and start having them signed by employees via eSign and UETA compliant system using JobForm Sign. Well, I thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.